Hi, my name is Lauren Bryant. I'm one of the librarians at Shoreline Community College, and I'm here to help. You're going to start at the library's website, which is library.shoreline.edu. And then you're going to go to the research tab and then databases. You can also use this uh, icon button in the icon menu. Once we're at this databases page, um, you're going to want to choose biology under subjects. For this example, I'm going to choose academic search complete. Once you're signed in, you'll get three fields like this. And at the top, it'll tell you which one you're searching. You'll want to make sure that this says academic search complete because a very different set of articles and a very different database will look almost exactly the same, but have, for example, APA psych articles. Um, will be the text right here. So you'll choose databases and you can choose academic search complete. Anything that you've um, explored during this class would be acceptable for this. Once you have a key term, you're going to put it in the first box as a keyword. Keyword just means that it, it, it doesn't include any filler text. Um, and once you start looking at your articles, you'll want to look at the journal that the um, that the article is published in. So for example, this article, this is the top, this is the title of the article, but this is the title of the journal or the publication that the, that the article is published inside of. So plant biotechnology journal does seem to be about science and it does seem to be appropriate for this class. So I'm going to walk you through how you would fulfill the requirements for the discussion. for the discussion using this article. Um, so the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to include a permalink or a permanent link that goes back to the article because if you do grab the, the, um, the URL from the browser bar up here, it won't connect anyone back to the article. So you'll want to use this toolbar. Um, you can choose permalink and it will drop down a little box and this link will be appropriate to share. If you're doing group work or you want to cite an article or you want to send an article to your instructor, you'll always want to use the permalink. Second part of the discussion post will be to define what kind of article it is. Our, all of the articles are going to be peer-reviewed articles, but we have to define whether it is an original research article, a review article, a book review, clinical study report, medical case report, commentaries, letters to editors, data notes, data sets, short communications, or methodologies or methods. When I analyze my article, I'm going to be looking for words that signal whether the person who is writing the article is also doing the research. On this page, I notice it says, in this study, we initially established blah, 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 blah which to me tells me that they did do original research. They're not writing about somebody else's research. They are doing their own research using um, genome editing, and it looks like they used um, targeted genome editing in plants. Um, so they did their own research in a lab, and the conclusions that they got are being shared in this article. Often another way to tell is um, if there are graphs of their findings, because since this is original research, you can't go back and look at some other thing that's been published to find to look at the findings. They have to present their findings often in a chart or a graph like these. Finally, I want to, in my own words, I want to write one sentence that sums up what the findings were. Either the summary or the conclusion will be a good place to look for what the findings were. So in one sentence, in my own words, I would say that the researchers developed a system called DVUIC, and they claim it was powerful for achieving controllable large fragment deletions. And finally, I encourage you to find the DOI of the article. When you put it in your browser bar, you will find the home of the article on the publisher's um, website here. I, I can see that Wiley is the publisher. Um, this article is open access, so it means that it was it does does not have a cost to access this. So yay! Um, 
open access or OER is um, is a free means that the article is free to access. Um, after you're done with your discussion post, you're going to want to reply to another student's discussion post to why the findings are credible or why you find the the findings to be believable. You're going to need that person to prove to you. And when I say that person, I mean the person doing the study, not the person doing the assignment, but the person who did the study needs to prove to us as the reader that their findings were credible. So when you reply to another student, you're going to read um, their, their summary of the lab experiment, and you're going to tell uh, us why you find them credible or why you don't find them credible. If you have any questions, you can make an appointment at library.shoreline.edu slash appointments. Um, we also have a 24 hour chat that can help you with every single step of this process on the front page of the library's website at library.shoreline.edu. Thank you for watching.